I'm Dr. Warren Levy, an interventional cardiologist with Virginia Heart. If you've been told that you need a cardiac catheterization or a coronary angiography, let me explain a little bit about what that involves so that you'll understand the procedure better and be able to ask better questions of your cardiologist prior to the test. The reason we do this test is to diagnose coronary artery disease. That's blockages that can develop inside the arteries that supply the blood and oxygen to the heart muscle, and they're called coronary arteries, and they run along the outside of the heart. The way the cardiac catheterization is done is really quite simple, and there shouldn't be any pain or discomfort associated with it. You will be given some light sedation, and if you're only having a diagnostic procedure, you should be able to go home a couple of hours after the procedure is finished. This is a simple test. We do lots of them every day. It's critically important, but we don't take this too lightly and we'll explain everything that you need to know. The major risk factors for developing coronary artery disease include smoking, diabetes, hypertension, high cholesterol, and family history. Other things such as sedentary lifestyle, high sodium intake play a role. And there's a lot that we can do to reduce our risks. You can't change your genes. Your family history is your family history, but you can get out and exercise. You can know your numbers, know your blood pressure, know your cholesterol, know your blood sugar, and talk to your doctors about reducing your risks.